Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Here's another doozy. This is a hidden American economic crisis that no one is talking about, but I've touched upon it in earlier videos. I also touched upon it when I talked about the hostile employment environment that is coming. One of the things that you have to understand is as we go through this pandemic, things are starting to change. Things are starting to get a little dicey. Right now, we have a lot of people who are working the same amount of hours that they worked before the pandemic, but their pay has been cut. And this is going to be the hidden American economic crisis that's going to start rippling through the economy. See, in the video of the hostile economic environment, the first round of layoffs were driven by the pandemic. The second rounds of layoffs will be driven by corporate America. And what's going to start happening is you're going to be required to do the same or in some cases more for less pay. Now, we have talked about this. Once you start to have erosion in pay or you start your first job off at substandard pet salary, this impacts you for the next three to four decades. And what's going to start happening is I want you to think that the American worker has not had a wage increase significantly in like the last 40 years. The last three years, wages started to go up. People started to have more money, but three years are not going to eradicate 40 years of not getting a raise. And I remember when I worked in healthcare, they didn't cut our pay, but we didn't get a raise for three years while they were building all these medical centers all over Atlanta. And we were just like, well, that's where our raise money went. And one of the things that happens when you're in a position where you have no upward mobility, your attitude starts to degrade. You start to like, what, what's the purpose? Your work ethic starts to slack off because one of the things that's about to start happening, and you're gonna hear about it more and more in the news, is that people are going to start, you know, this is, this is gonna be the new trajectory. First of all, it's like, hey, we're not gonna fire you, but we need to cut your income by 20%. And 20% is a grip because if you're making 50,000, you just went from 50,000 to 40,000. You still have a job, you still have income coming in, but that's brutal. That's brutal. That's almost a thousand bucks a month that you're not getting. And it's gonna hurt because the average American already lives at the top of their income. So this is gonna be the first round. We're gonna keep you, but we're gonna cut your wages. Then the second thing, as we go down the road a little bit, then it's like, hey, you know, we cut your wages, but you know, business isn't as good as it we need. To, so we need to let you go. So you've already had your wages cut. Now you got laid off. So you were already, because the wage cut put you behind. It put you in the situation where you had less money. And now you're laid off and you don't have any money and then you're going on unemployment. This is a silent killer that no one's really talking about, but I actually remember a YouTuber, she did a video talking about her husband took a 20% pay cut. So this is starting to happen because it wasn't, because essentially they were just getting rid of people. And then, you know, about seven to 10 million people had their wages cut. And what it's going to do is you're going to see more and more and more of this. And the long-term consequences are going to be eye-popping. Oh, I mean, they're going to be eye-popping because here's the trajectory. I want you to think about the people who graduated college during the Great Recession. These folks were just starting to get their lives on track. Boom, this happens. So many of these people are not going to get married. They're not going to be able to have children because they don't have any money have no money. And what this is going to produce is another um, link in the chain or nail in the coffin, if so to speak, 
because I've actually got some people who, who were talking about the V-shaped recovery. They, they went on my Facebook page and it's like, okay, Glenn the Cameron was right. Uh, there will not be no V-shaped recovery because I'm like, you know, I was looking at the real raw economic data, like I'm looking at this. And one of the things that you gotta understand, there will not be a V-shaped recovery. There will not be a strong third quarter. There will not be a strong fourth quarter because of the damage. And this is coming from a business owner perspective. I know what it's like to be struggling to pay payroll. I know what it's like once economic velocity stops for a business, bad things, Economic money velocity stops, bad, bad, bad things happen. Businesses usually go out of business when they have money velocity stops. Money velocity slows, this usually produces layoffs. And as it gets slower and slower, this is produces wage cuts, layoffs, and if it keeps getting real slow, eventually closure. So this is another silent crisis that is occurring during the period of time when we have this crazy, because 20, you know, 2020 has turned out to be a bad, bad year for a bunch of people, millions, tens of millions of people. It's been a very, very bad year. 2021, in my estimations, looking at the economic tea leaves is going to be worse. I want you to think about that. 2020 has been bad for many, many people. 2021 is going to be worse. Let me say this again. 2021 is going to be worse. Why is 2021 going to be worse? Unemployment benefits for many people are going to run out. The forbearance programs are going to end. The eviction process, and like I said in the housing crisis video, with the eviction and the foreclosure process, many of these people will be in these properties for many months to a few years because there's gonna be such a massive backlog. But I want you to think about this. You're in a situation where you had your pay cut, then you got laid off, then you got evicted. Strike one, strike two, strike three. You living in your car, man. You living on the curb. I feel that the economic damage that has happened is gonna be with us for a good two to five years. And more than likely five years. Because once a person suffers salary erosion, it takes forever. Because essentially, let's say you graduated during the great a recession or you graduated during this mess you suffered the same fate you went into the market if you were able to find a job at a lower income than you would have normally had to accept and this lower income sets the stage for future wage growth for the next 40 to 50 years so that's why it is so dangerous to have these low jobs start off, starting off with these low jobs, and that's why it's so dangerous to suffer long-term layoffs because of the damage that it does to your future income. And these wage cuts are not going to help. They're going to make things very, very bad for many, many people. So what is one to do? Go below, get 30 days to 2,500, Get the hustler's mindset, pimping your mind for success. Go below, get that. My gift from me to you, so you can start working against this wage erosion. Because I'm just here to tell you, I feel that the economic pain that we're going to have is going to produce people having an attitude change. And I think we're gonna have a lot of entrepreneurs by force versus entrepreneurs by choice. And this is below to help you go ahead and get started. Go ahead and begin working on getting your gang plan together because I'm telling you, 2020 was bad. 2021 is gonna be worse. We're gonna go from bad to worse. And many, many people are going to suffer some serious economic hardship even if Congress, now I should go back and say this, if the Democrats win the Senate and the presidency, 
we will see the mother of all economic stimulus plans unleashed. We may possibly see the $2,000 per month while this thing goes on. So I will start doing stimulus check videos uh, now that they're going back to work and I will be keeping you abreast because I guarantee you, if the Democrats win in the fall, we will see the mother of all economic stimulus plans because in 2020, this is just the beginning of this. In 2021, it's going to get much, much worse. So go below, get 30 days, 2,500. Go below, get the hustler's mindset, pimp your mind for success. Don't just get them because they're free. Get them and do them and begin building and growing your business because that's going to be your financial self-defense against wage erosion, which is going to creep up on a lot of people. Because right now there's someone who's watching this video, you've not had any issues and you've avoided all this other stuff. And in a few weeks, you're going to get that call into human resources where they're going to tell you they're going to reduce your income by 10 to 20%. And you're going to be like, he told me this was coming. It's coming. I'm here to tell you it's coming. All right. So go ahead and watch this next video.